do here? My name is Heidi Arnhold and I am a comic book artist. And uh, I am just uh, here this weekend to share a little more about Legends of the Dark Crystal, a project that I worked on um, in 2007 and 2010. And it's a prequel to the original Dark Crystal movie that came out uh, in the early 80s. So um, Tokyo Pop and Jim Henson Company came together and they made a Dark Crystal movie, which is what this is. So have you been, have you been doing uh, the art for this for a long time? Oh, yeah. Um, we got started in late 2006, and then there was a brief hi hiatus in 2008, and we wrapped the series in 2010. It's two books, so it took a little while to get it done. <laughs> are you hoping to continue drawing for Dark Crystal, or are you looking at doing more? Um, I think Dark Crystal is, is done. If there was another project for it, I would happily hop on board. I'm very much in love with the yeah, franchise, but um, I moved on to, I did a little Fraggle Rock short, and I'm hoping to do an original project at some point in the next year, and I'm very excited about that, so. Do you enjoy working on uh, Jim Henson art? I do, yeah. It seems to be the best niche for me, as far as, you know, my fantasy bent, but also having a fun, uh, like a different aspect to it, but with the puppets and everything. But it's still very fantasy oriented, and that's fun for me. Is it different uh, transferring puppets into sort of still life drawings? It is, um, in the sense that uh, I can have a little more freedom because sometimes, especially with the fraggles, um, their expressions are somewhat limited. Um, and in the comic, I can actually change their eye shape to convey emotion and I can make them blink if I want to. So I have a little more freedom as far as range of movements. Um, it's similar for, for the, the Skeksis and Dark Crystal and the Puppets and Dark Crystal because you don't actually see, you know, like the Gelflings, if, if I recall correctly, you know, they were, you know, they were being puppeteered as well, but they were like sitting on a guy's shoulder. So you don't see them running very often, you know, like they have more of a range of movement and you don't have to worry about um, them appearing stiff because you have more freedom. If somebody wanted to find out more about where to get your art or these books or even other art that you do, where could they go? Um, you can either go to www.heidiarnhold.com or www.chibimarin.tvandart.com, which there's a link through my through my uh, through the heidiarnhold.com website. So. All right, great. Thank you so much for taking time to talk to us today. No problem. Thank you.